Tiny Tina Wonderlands on PC, Steam version in split screen. Namaste everyone, my name is Rohit Joshi from Indie One Up and let's get started. So what you're gonna need is a software called Sandbox. Open it and create a new sandbox. You can name it anything. I am naming it Wonderlands. Go to sandbox settings. Click on resource access and then click on file access. You need to click on full access and there you will find these things. Just add C drive full access. To do that, select your C drive. Once selected, click OK and you should see something like this. C drive added. Hit apply and OK. Now you need to browse your Tiny Tina EXE. It is in the Steam library, Steam apps, common Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, Oak Games, Binaries, Win64, Wonderland.exe. Right click on it and create two shortcuts for desktop. Okay. Via create shortcut. Now you need to edit them as shown on the screen. Right. Here is the commands that you need to paste. Just do exactly as shown. This is basically your resolution. For example, example you have full HD resolution 1920 and 1080. So to split vertically, you are going to add resolution for X axis should be same. And for Y axis, we are having the resolution, which is half of 1080 that means 540 on the second shortcut add this hit apply hit ok if you have other screen resolutions then it works for them too then just double click on the first one uh, make sure that you have this team running in the background it for this time it will ask that you are passing these arguments and are you sure you are the one who sent these? Hit OK as we have edited that. Oh, just a minute. Uh, my resolution is 4K and I set the parameters for 1080p screen. Okay, so remember that it should be in accordance with your current screen resolution. For that I have already set up my resolution parameters 38840 and half of 2160 which is 1080p okay double click it hit ok again let it open let it load in the background you can place it anywhere since this is going to be first instance we are placing it at the top, speeding the re the load screen. Four X. Okay, we are signed in. Go to options. Make sure you are on DirectX 11. And if you change the display mode to anything else than what is selected before, you will notice that your screen is now converted to full screen, or to be precise half screen that windowed mode will be gone okay now comes the tricky part you need to launch the second instance and for that we are going to start steam in a sandbox okay watch this carefully right click on steam and run sandboxed select wonderland the sandbox we created and run as administrator this will launch a second instance of Steam that is Sandbox and login by using your password and see this is a Sandbox team and this yellow bar or rectangle shows you that it's Sandbox. Another identification it is this, this is normal Steam and this is hash Steam hash that means it's Sandbox. Okay, now we are going to run, run the second Wonderland with this 
newly launched sandbox steam so you need to repeat those steps click okay and now the second version will launch but this time it will launch with the sandbox steam so we have two instances of steam and two instances of our game see hash tiny tina wonderlands hash that means it's sandbox okay if you do not use sandbox and try to launch one more instance it will just refocus your first instance right okay now we are loaded completely you can change your character make sure you have two characters so that you and your friend can play you can have both uh, same classes no problem with that but select different names for them you need to select lan play on both the instances okay and you can do this from here the text should be here and now what you need to do is go to social and lan mode and search you will see just click and see your friend has just joined your first instance then the first player should con hit continue and both will be in the game the game has loaded and we are successful see this is me and below one it's also me mephisto felix that's my account and the logo that is in front of it marks that it is from steam if i launch the epic version there will be epic launcher logo as i have shown in the previous video now there is one problem it's that you can only control one instance even if you have controller you will only be able to control that instance where you have touched with the mouse so to remove that problem what we are going to use is a software called split screen universal split screen okay do exactly these steps first click on the first instance so it should show windows Uh, window title tiny tina's wonderland here set the mouse and set the keyboard okay select the options and remove this check draw mouse otherwise it will give you trouble now select the bottom screen you can use the window button on your keyboard to uh, be able to select the below screen okay now tiny tina wonderland's hash should be shown in the window title set another mouse you you will require two mouse if you wish to play for two player even if you wish to use a controller in the second screen you still require two mouse what this is actually doing is it's making both windows to be focused every time so that controller can be used in both instances there is a setting in the game which causes focus to lose if mouse is not working in that particular instance so if there is no mouse input controller will not work right now once you hit the start split screen there uh, there will be another problem that mouse will start uh, will stop to work in both the instances for the to remove that you need to control alter delete hit task manager your mouse will still won't work you need to press end key after that just close the task manager and minimize the split screen universal split screen and just left click once this will make both the screen now in the focus and now you can control both the screens with your remote but this is not what you want right so you can dis just disable the controller for the first menu or if you are playing with the keyboard or mouse then well you need to assign those in the split screen launcher 
so separate keyboard and mouse can be used for other instances you can google uh, how to use universal split screen software for that see it's working now what you need to do is uh, make sure that you limit your fps otherwise your machine will struggle to play both the instances since i have a 3070 ti and with my setting with the settings that i play with i cannot play smoothly above 40 fps maybe because i have a very old cpu and you might be able to play with more fps but remember limiting your fps in both the instances to the same number can improve your gameplay pretty well and if you can play with uh, 60 or 120 fps then it is good for you also remember that since two instances are playing on the similar machine you need to make sure one of the instance put its music and dialogue to zero that way it won't interfere when you are playing the game otherwise dialogues will be repeated twice sex and it might create issues for you that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it do like comment and subscribe for more such contents and happy gaming